our work has concluded, um, and the document is now public. Um, and the matter is civil in nature um, and is not, um, does not have any criminal consequences. I will state that it's our understanding that for the young woman whose um, breast was groped, that the Albany Police Department already has a report about that. Um, as for anything else, as uh, the Attorney General stated, all the information is fully documented in the report, and any prosecutors or police departments can look at the evidence and determine if they want to take further action. There's no penalty specifically tied to this report. Um, the women can decide, some of the women can decide themselves if they want to bring a civil action. Um, the statute of limitations is generally three years under one federal statute and the state law and a little bit shorter under another federal statute, although for hostile work environments, as long as one act occurs within the statute of limitations, one can go back to cover the entire hostile work environment. There were attempts to undermine and to politicize this investigation. And there were attacks on me as well as members of the team, which I find offensive. And our focus, again, should be on the bravery and the courage of these 11 women and of the others who came forward. These allegations were substantiated. They were corroborated. And the team before you, Ms. Clark and Mr. Kim, are professionals who are widely respected, not only in New York, but all across this nation. And uh, I support their work, will defend their work, and I believe these women. <laughs>